Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go Um, this is exactly how I got it. I ain't done anything but open the box. Not the sub box, the initial box. You can see here where it come from. But it came in today, so that means that, yeah, it's got the Amazon tape on it. So it had to come through Amazon, but it's Sunday. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, this is Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and pull this, uh, H. Yanka. H. Yanka. I'm going to pull this thing out. We're going to open it up. The bottom of the out. box is bold, guys. <sighs> this thing didn't fare well in shipping at all. I mean, hey, whoa. <laughs> it teeter-totters. The lid was like not even closed. So out the gate, I don't know nothing about this sub, but I'm going to tell you that they're going to have to do something better. Yeah. I mean, look at all this. Definitely. They're going to have to do something a whole lot better to, uh, for their packaging. If this thing ain't hurt, it's going to be a miracle. Well, yeah, if it ain't hurt, it's going to be a miracle. Fatch around. It's cute. My wife's ever like, it's cute. I'm looking for broke basket or anything, which it's, a, it's a literally a miracle that this thing didn't get hurt in shipping. Ooh, we got a little bitty voice call in there, but the guys that survived, <laughs> like the worst packing that anything could ever have <laughs> shipping through Amazon and it survived. There's no coil rub, which is a good indication that, uh, the motor didn't shift. It's tight. Look at this spider. The spider looks kind of cool. I mean, all in all, that looks like your typical Chinese sub. My cat's over here trying to get in this box. <laughs> oh, my arms hurt still. It's got a pretty fat little booty. Push terminal is a dual four. I dig how it's got the Amazon Hyanka or H Yanka. Hyanka. I don't know. Impedance four ohm. I'm assuming it's gonna be a dual four. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. I mean, it seems like it's a, a decent little sub for your your typical like Chinese build house. Um try to get some coil you know footage in there um i'm gonna say this thing's got like a two inch coil hold on let me look in the book oh wait a minute there wasn't one <laughs> see what it tells us on the box um yeah nothing here here's the manual okay so it is a dual four Y thirty five grade double two piece ferrite magnet. Oh, two and a half inch black aluminum. Uh, that had to be the the voice coil. Frequency forty five to a thousand hertz. Yeah, right. We're it's never gonna be played that high. <laughs> um, it's got that's a pretty much you know we we got the high pressure series. Um. That this is pretty much the manual right here. You know, there's no uh, FS or BL or 
any any specs there and looking in what's left of the box you know there was no no type of uh, manual so i don't know guys i really don't know i mean what what can we do with it i mean it's still early in the day You know, I could, uh, I could like try to unhook the leads in the black Jeep and, uh, <laughs> run them, run them to this. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I might have to take a, a night to think about it. Um, I mean, overall guys, this is not a terrible looking sub. Just being non-biased, it is not a terrible looking sub. It is actually really cool. I mean, we got a really fat surround. I mean, it's got a pretty solid. Hi, Yanka. The H is an I. Hi, Yanka. Hi, Yanka. I don't know. <sighs> Nobody knows how to pronounce that, probably. Except for the people that build it. Overall, it's not terrible. Look, I mean, it's got some really, uh, really small tinsel lead on there that are singled, but... This is a small sub, uh, you know, two and a half inch voice coil. I, I would, I would have no problem putting three of these things on that power is 5k. Uh, maybe even, uh, my two DS 18 5k's, you know, run like one coil from each amp or from each sub to the amplifier at four, four divided by three, 1.33. It's a two ohm amp. Yeah, that would be great. Two 5Ks on, you know. Uh, it looks beefy enough to handle it. And guys, I'm be honest with you. Uh, I would say that this is about the same size or same looking as an EVL 10. But I think this thing has a bigger motor than the EVLs. I don't think EVLs have motors that big. Every EVL motor I've seen is like the size of a McDouble. I'm not even trying to hate on Scar at this point because their VXFs are pretty good. Um, and uh, the DDX. But I don't know. Not a bad looking subwoofer. We're going to do some testing with this bad boy though, for real. I'll be right. It's, it's moving. I got the bass knob turned up a little bit. Something's got to happen. Maybe not. Maybe I need some more bass knob. I was trying to start this a little slower. Well, what's, what's going on with it? There we go. Man, she's moving. Is it hard to hold down? It's a little difficult. Wow, look at how much that thing's moving. Wow. She's eating, guys. <laughs> wow. I'm going to turn that down some. <laughs> oh, no. I, I was, like, light on the bass knob. <laughs> Yeah, I always light on the bass knob. I'm playing music, so it's like the skips in the song. Like, I can feel it. There we go. This is really turned down. Wow. Look at that. clamped this before with my AMM1. Ooh, let's get the AMM1. All right, let's see what we're doing now. We hit 500 once. 529. <laughs> God, that thing's moving. Wow. I'm going to turn it down some. I'm not trying to damage this thing out the gate. But look at Wayne. We're still, we're 
we're knocking on 400 this song that's just the song guys it's knocking my everything <laughs> Catching on 400. Wow. All right, we're gonna go turn it down. We're not trying to. We're not trying to kill it. So, Phil, everything does it feel warm at all? It's a little lightly warm. I mean, it's just barely like above room temp in there. I hate to say it, guys. It's a pretty decent little sub. The bad thing is, I was looking on their YouTube store yesterday. I mean, their Amazon store yesterday. And uh, they really didn't have anything listed on it. I don't know if they ran out of stock. I know they had some 12s the other day. And yesterday, I didn't see much. But, guys. I mean, you saw me beating this thing with, like, Pretty regular 500 watts on here. It's a little 10. I mean, she jumping. This thing, it's got a lot of X Max. I was impressed. Uh, with, you know, you can kind of get that blurred image. I love the cap, how it's got that, because it gives you a focal point to see move up and down for the excursion. But um, she was taking a solid 500 watts. Was it hard to hold down? Yeah. <laughs> the wife was fighting to hold it down. And have you heard any like weird rattle bumping? That's the back of the motor beating on this, but As I was trying to hold it. Yeah, we, we broke out the AMM1 just to see real time power that I was beating on it. I'm not trying to kill it or I'd turn it up more. Um You know, I mean I'm trying to figure out if I can turn it up a little bit more just to see if the wife can hold it down. One more let's try it one more time. Let's see what song we're on here. Uh, okay, we got to go to the next track. Let's see what the next track is. Get back, bro. Okay, hold on here. All right, we're trying to figure out what we're doing. Right, let's see if it's all right. I broke 2,000 watts. Still sound fine? All right. <laughs> I'm going to turn it off, guys. <laughs> no I mean, y'all seen it on there. That thing peaked at like 2,000 for a minute. It's not even hot. It's loosened up quite a bit. Yeah, y'all saw that. I know y'all saw the 900 and then like 1,000, 2,000. <clears throat> <laughs> that is the most I want to do to this. <laughs> Don't want to do no more, huh? It's especially straight out the box. Yeah, straight out the box. I mean, <laughs> I hope this makes a good video for some of you guys. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I can't believe that. At 8,000, peaked at 2,000 there for a second. I mean, I don't even know what they sell these for on Amazon. You know, I tried to find it so I would have be better prepared for this video. So you guys would know how much they cost. Uh, I didn't even really look at the price on the 12s the other day when they were on there. But their store was empty. Guys, I think three of these would be badass in a little uh, build. With some a little more power. I mean, obviously, they're going to take a whole lot more power inside of an enclosure. Because, you know, you have... Uh, something back there for suspension like the air suspension you build up behind the cone than just free air in it but uh i was impressed that it was taking that kind of power steadily i mean we were over 500 watts there for a while they're sold out of everything yeah i don't even get the price on on the wife's amazon but uh three of these would be beasts guys uh i'm really impressed with the subwoofer itself especially for free air in that 2000 watt there for a second but uh just the x max that it has is really good 
I think they would be great little budget. If they're budget, I mean, I think they would be a really great budget sub. They're supposed to send me two more that were uh, bad packaging that they couldn't sell, which that's cool. I might put, I might build them and put them in something, you know, with either that Corsus 5K or one of my DS18 or two of my DS18 5Ks. It would be a bad little setup. Um, anyway, I'm, I got to get all this unhooked and get this black Jeep back to normal. <laughs> and if you're wondering what I was powering that with, that right there, that's a DS18 uh, GFX 3K 2 ohm. That's what I was powering it on. You've seen it clamp over 2K. Guys, the volume on the head unit is down pretty low. The base knob is down pretty low when I got that 2K out of it. Um, I played with it a lot before on an AMM1, and I, the most I was getting out of it on music was 2K. Maybe just not the right song. Is it safe to unhook? Yeah, you can unhook it, babe. This here is my 48 amp hour headway that I built out of the Super Beast, just the parts that were in the Super Beast module. They come with the studs to connect two cells, and they had the plates already, so it was like, the plates were perfect size for a 48 amp hour. I got my little balancer on there. These were the copper end plates that one was positive, one was negative on the Super Beast. They were perfect, so yeah, everything there is just built out of the Super Beast. My wife's already over here unhooking stuff. She's awesome. It's unhooked. Yeah, and the only wire I had was a 14 gauge speaker wire. <laughs> I looked for a wire to do this test and I couldn't find anything but this. It's OFC, it handled that power fine, guys. But yeah, this is gonna be the highlight of this video, guys. I hate to tell you, it probably is. We got Deb's sub, uh, sub done. We gotta put it back in tomorrow and maybe turn it on, see how it sounds. But uh, this will probably be the highlight because I had a lot of fun doing this and it's really why I wanted to keep this black Jeep no wall just for testing stuff like this when people send it to me. I definitely want to build an enclosure for these now. But all right, guys, peace. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel